Hey everyone, it's your friend Latomi, and uh, I'm actually sending you guys this vlog today because I've been getting more of these questions in my inbox. I used to get them quite frequently in comments, and now I get them in my inbox too. So I'm passing this your way so that you can uh, you can ask me this question, and I don't have to copy and paste my standard answer to you. you I could just link this video. It's it's much shorter. Anyways, uh, the question is, what do you use to record your songs? Well, as you can see here, I've got a microphone. It's magic. Don't you love it? Um, this is actually an OM2, uh, OM2, and uh, I've had this thing, like, it's, I've, we've got to be nearing up on like 10 years now. This thing is amazing. She's been dropped, she's been hauled around in a backpack for years of col or high school and a little bit into college too, and just kind of, I mean, the sound quality on it is still great. Um, it's obviously pretty directional. I If I move uh, a little bit one way or another... I actually lose uh, a, a fair amount of sound. Sorry, I keep looking out the window because my computer is coming. She's supposed to be fixed, and I want her back. So, back to the topic at hand. I do also have... Let me pull it out over here. Hey, come here, baby. Hey, it's okay. I'm going to unplug her so you can see. Um, this Samson CO1U. Pretty nice. I don't use it because my room has a lot of room noise. And uh, if I get rid of most of that room noise... Uh, I mean, to get rid of most of the room noise, you actually lose a very fair portion of the sound, which kind of sucks. So I don't do that. Anyways, this beautiful piece of work here, my OM2, connects in through a, uh, a little audio box. Let me show it to you real quick. Uh, this bad boy, really simple. It's really tough. This is how I adjust how loud I am. And I don't even bother with the other knobs anymore. They're kind of, I mean... The mix knob can be important, but I've set it so that I never really have to fiddle with it. That's uh, that's this knob. So I can hear more of myself, hear less of myself, or whatever it is. It's not important. What's the last one? Oh yeah, output level. Don't fiddle with that. No point. And yeah, my microphone just connects right in through the back. And this part is the USB cable that connects into the computer. Now what do I use on my computer to make music, you may ask? Well, quite simply, I use Logic Pro 9 Academic Edition. I've been using this since my last year of high school. And uh, Logic Pro 9 actually is, is probably more than what I need personally as a singer. Um, I try recording and mixing more in it, and uh, while that usually works really well, I'm pretty poor at it, so I tend to avoid doing it. Um, but Logic Pro 9 is a Mac-only program. Uh, for PC equivalents, I've hear, heard like stuff. Um, I Charm used to use Cubase. Um, I'm sure you can ask some other incredible artists about what they use. Uh, Pro Tools is, I mean, if you want to be professional, go Pro Tools. Uh, or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know for PCs. Sorry, I, I didn't look into it. I found this program. This program works awesome for me. And so I've kind of stuck with it. And this is what I know. Um, to give you a cut, I'll, I'll give you a screenshot in here about what uh, Logic Pro looks like. It's uh, it's a really nice interface. I, I find it pretty straightforward. I can you know throw loops in there so that I've got a little background music. I can go into a little like uh, channel input editor and just kind of add echo, add reverb. I can you know fiddle with how much compression there is on the track. I can make sure I'm not peaking, all that good stuff. Um, well, I can limit the peaking, but I'm, to only a certain extent, once you overpower this guy, it's, it's game over. Um, what else can I do? I can make, I, I have a horrible, horrible auto tuner, um, which you can hear in songs like Raid Day. That's my auto tuner. That's the best it gets. Um, but yeah, so that's really about all there is to my, uh, recording setup. I do have a MIDI keyboard that I've put pictures up of. Uh, I don't use it very frequently, and it doesn't really affect the way I sing at all. Um, but yeah, that's what I used to record. So, OM2, the M Audio Box, which I'm not going to pull up again, and Logic Pro 9 Academic Edition. I'm sure there's later editions out now, and there's the, the full professional edition, which you can get for yourself, that I personally don't use, because like I said, academic has been more than enough for me over the years. So yeah, that's what I use. Hope this helps you a little bit if you're looking to get started. The OM2 is about 100 bucks. I no longer know how much the M Audio Box is. I'm not sure they even make it anymore. Logic Pro 9 Academic was $124 from the uh, college where I got it when I first got it, which was a couple years back. Um, 
So no idea how much that costs anymore. But yes, it does take a little bit of money to get uh, going in in music. But uh, as with all things that are, are worth uh, are worth something to you, you should put in a little bit of money to do it right and do it for yourself and make it, you know, something worth doing. So hope this helps. Love you guys. Have a great day, okay?